Welcome to this Parts for Altium Libraries video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at sorting and organizing your components in the Components panel. For example, notice here that I have um, resistors all organized by and sorted by value. And we can also have capacitors sorted by value. And if you notice real quickly here that um, these were all in 0402, and that's because we had an additional filter right here for 0402. So if we turn that off, we can see we're kind of got a mixed bag of 0201, 0603, or whatever. Um, one way that we can further organize that is when we have our uh, column grouping enabled, we can select columns and drag them up. So here I'm going to drag up a package case and I'll open up my 0402s. So if I was looking for an 0402, I could find them uh, and see that they're all nicely sorted in order again from the smallest to the largest. Take another look at that. Same thing with the resistors. We could add the package case group by that. We could see that now we're looking at um, package case starting at uh, zero and going up and we're looking at um, our 0402s first. Looks like this one's just 0402s. That's because we've opened up the 0402 grouping. Same thing, any of these other groupings, 0603 or whatever. So anyway, let's look at how this was created. Um, so first of all, we started with an access database. And I was using an application I call the parts front end to help me organize and manage my library. Um, that's an optional feature. You don't need to have a, a parts front end to create a, a, a database library, but it does help you to uh, efficiently manage a database library to have a tool like this. But anyway, we're going to use the tool to um, kind of navigate around. And we can see here that we had an access database right here. So if we were to hit this Explore button, that'll take us straight away to where the database is. And we can open that right here. OK, we'll open that in Access. And notice that we have a parts table. So we have one table. And this is uh, got 2,732 records in it at the moment. And then we added a couple of queries, um, one of them for capacitors and one of them for resistors. So you can see we have just our capacitor part type and we have just our resistor part type. What those queries look like in the design view is something like this. You select a uh, all the fields from the parts table using the asterisk, select the part type, and put a criteria on it of equals parts. Also, if you prefer to look at that in an SQL view, you can look at that and read it in English. That's select from part, select parts. All That's all fields from parts where parts type equals resistor. Anyway, same logic applied for the capacitors. And that's all there really is to creating a query. You can always copy one of those. And um, in fact, why don't we do that? We'll go ahead and copy one. We'll paste it here. But I'm going to call this one inductors because I had not in created have not created uh, an inductors query yet so we'll go into the design view of that and I'll replace the word resistor with inductor okay save that all right so we'll close that saving it And now we'll open uh, the dblib in Altium. Swing that panel out of the way for a moment. Right, so we may need to reload this. Close. 
we won't. And then I'll just do a file open recent projects documents. We'll try to open that dplib again. So we can see the inductors are there now. And we do need after you add another query, you do need to um, assign your single key lookup field. So that's just the ID key uh, for parts users. And that's the same field for used in all of these. So we'll just hit save to that. And now when we go back into um, our components panel, we'll see what we find there. We may need to do a little refreshing or reloading. Well, there's our inductors there that we just created. Get that out of the way, and let's just take a look at some, for example, some 0603 inductors. They're right here. Um, you can see that we haven't sorted them yet, so we'll sort by value. Look at this for a minute. It doesn't seem to be properly sorted yet. Let's see what's going on there. Um, I don't know if Altium's implemented that feature. I know they they sorted resistors and they sorted capacitors, but I don't believe they've uh, implemented sorting for uh, inductors yet. Okay, so that's all there is to um, creating a nicely sorted components and to categorize them. Notice I used the package case feature. Okay. And just a little bit more about the parts front end before I leave. Um, the parts front end is also a, a nice tool that supports uh, filtered and sorted um, smart, what I call smart sorting. So for example here we've got our resistors 0402 for a package type. We can pick whatever package type we want. We hit apply and our resistors are all nicely displayed in order here. If we double click over on the ID field, we can jump to the first record or the last record. Um, if we want to scroll faster, we can scroll from over here where it's, and you're paging through the records. Or however, number of records are displayed here. So if you have 10 records here, this is incrementing by 10 each time. That can get you quite a bit faster through there. Or if you really want to move faster, you can open the page up a little bit wider and you can see you can very quickly scroll down through there. Probably a little faster than you can read, but anyway, you can review the data very quickly. Anyway, that's all there is to um, creating and using uh, filtered parts. Um, if you'd like to learn more about uh, the parts front end, um, which an optional, like say this is an optional feature, which is used for maintaining database libraries, you can find more about it over at um, PCB Parts blogspot.com. Also, I'll leave a link down below where you can get yourself a free turnkey database library for Altium. Uh, again, you don't need uh, to use the parts front end. It's an optional feature. But when you download parts, you'll be getting a fully functional, proven database library that's been in use in several countries. And... Um, has multiple uh, users around the world using it. Um, anyway, it's worth taking a look at. I encourage you to do that if you're interested in creating a database library for Altium. Thank you. I'll leave a link down below where you can find uh, the parts blog spot and download a copy of the, the parts database. And by all means, if you want to learn more about database libraries, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a great day.